This boy found himself bitten, actually disinfected with red-hot charcoal, after fixing the arm with a nail gun, but the virus still kept spreading. He had to put a rope around his neck, activating the switch, so that the virus could not spread to the brain. In his desperate struggle, the virus had all but disappeared. Just minutes before, the city was completely destroyed by a monster attack. The human race had to take a steel train to the direction of the refuge, but every time we passed a station, the train will be violently hit, and the objects that were hit, they were a group of zombies called Cabane. Their power is immense. The iron doors of the train were like scrap metal. A woman goes to check it out. Suddenly a Cabane stares at her. The moment of truth. Her comrades arrived in time to save her. By now the train was full of cabanas. Even if you shoot them off the train, they will come back to life intact. Just then, Cabane found the right moment. Pulled the soldier's gun and arm out. Behind him, his comrades saw this. He rushed forward to help. He soon saved the soldier, but he was bitten himself. The soldier threw him a glory bullet. And with his gun, he scolded him. Finish it off yourself. Looking at his merciless comrade in front of him, he pulled the switch in despair, and the only way for mankind to resist Cabane, only to build a steel shelter. And here it was, there was a boy who lived alone. He was working on a weapon to defeat Cabane, but it was not powerful enough. His name is Ikoma. He was a train maintenance worker here. That's when someone came to report that Kotetsu Castle was coming. According to the plan this train will not arrive until tomorrow. Then the tracks slowly fell. A bloodstained train came in, but they were all in a panic, afraid that there is a caban hidden on it. So every corner of the train had to be cleaned and disinfected. Even the passengers have to do a full body check. Ignored these rules. The soldier saw her trying to escape the inspection raised his gun and questioned. At that moment, the city lord came over. He didn't expect this girl to be his guest. Everyone was confused. What kind of guest would ignore the inspection? Suddenly a man ran out of the train, and he had the scratches of Cabane on his body. <laughs> A bloodstained train pulls into the shelter. The passengers on the train are subjected to a full body check. Suddenly a man ran out in a panic. There were scratches of zombies on his body. The soldiers saw this and fired directly. The man fell to the ground in fear. But the man said it was just a scratch. That's when Ikoma stepped forward, directly in front of the man, and said that even if it was an infected person, it would take three days to determine the authenticity. But just before he finished, he was beaten down by the soldiers, before a worker could intervene. Then he was punched and kicked, but they didn't expect. But they didn't expect that the foal had the heart of a zombie in his body. Everyone was alert to question him, and the man behind him tried to take advantage of the opportunity to escape. He was mercilessly shot by the soldiers. But the man did not come back to life. It turns out he wasn't a zombie. They killed a civilian by mistake, the lord of the city. In order to prevent it from being revealed, he had Ikoma knocked out. He was put in a cell as a zombie suspect, and all this was watched by a girl. At night, the girl came to the cell where Ikoma was being held. As soon as she met him, she flaunted her name. <laughs> That's right, she was nameless. She wondered why Ikoma had to stand up for herself. Others are afraid of zombies and stand by. Aren't you afraid? After listening to Ikoma's words, Nameless felt that this little brother was trustworthy. At that moment, the train from Fuso Castle arrived on time. The guards slowly lowered the tracks, but the soldiers found that the train was moving at high speed. There was no intention to slow down. It turned out that the train had fallen. The train was crawling with zombies. They were driving the train at high speed. By the time the guards reacted, it was too late. The train crashed directly into the shelter. A large number of zombies also immediately came out. It was a spectacular scene. The people in the city could be imagined. The people were like butterflies in front of the zombies. The sky was filled with screams and shrieks. The guards sounded the alarm. 
Nameless heard the alarm and rushed to support. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Ikoma used the wire to open the cell door. He rushed to his home. It didn't take long. The entire western district was transformed into a zombie land. At this time, the city lord could not do anything. Preparing to go to Kotetsu Castle, and Ikoma looked at the fleeing people. He thought of an idea. He deliberately slashed his wrist. <laughs> leaving a bloodstain on the ground so as to attract the zombies to him. At this moment he wanted to test the power of the dunking gun. He waited quietly for the zombies to come. The boy was guarding the door with the irrigator, but the zombie fell from the roof. Ikoma aimed his gun at his heart and then a powerful blow. The zombie was killed on the spot. Just when he was excited, there was an accident. He was also bitten by a zombie on his arm. He was about to mutate himself to prevent the virus from invading his brain. He used red charcoal to disinfect the wound, tightens the wound with a belt. Then he fixed the arm with a nail gun. But to no avail the virus was still spreading. He had no choice. He had to put a rope around his neck, activating the spinning mechanism. Unexpectedly, with his efforts, the virus actually disappeared. On the other hand, Nameless guards were also infected. Knowing that he could not escort Nameless, immediately took out the glory bullet. But before Nameless could run far away, when she encountered an oversized zombie, but she calmly stepped on the foot and took off the rope. When the zombie rushed over, she turned around and did a horizontal kick. <laughs> Don't look at her so powerful. In fact, even a slipper cannot pull off. Soon her friend Chen Sheng came over. Seeing the zombie on the ground was killed. He looked puzzled. Ikoma told Chen Sheng about the power of the dunking tube. The two of them celebrated with high fives. But the next second. <laughs> The city was completely overrun by zombies. The people had to hide in the house of the city lord, praying that the zombies would leave, and the guards were still fighting. If they were not careful, they would become a meal for the zombies. The situation was not good. The noblemen were clamoring to get to Kotetsu Castle, but Xiaomei wanted to wait for her father's signal. The two sides argued over this. At that moment, Nameless appeared in full gear. <laughs> Everyone was stunned. A female child could have such great power. Then she called the crowd to follow her. She was going to attract the walkers to open a bloody path for them. 